Hello, B. Oh, she's going to be two in July. Okay. She has been through several training sessions already and we've used different methods you know like we've done the only positive reinforcement treats we've done like the you know uh, training collar when we're in the house i think that's kind of uh kind of the most like you know she's obviously off the leash she like feels more comfortable now she doesn't really have accidents in the house but it's like you know if she's bored then she wants to go outside and if she's bored she becomes really destructive and um <laughs> recently she's been a little bit leash reactive um which is super new she jumps up on people she like likes to nibble on ears with earrings especially um so you know there's like a lot of she's she's not able to just like settle herself and she doesn't listen unless there's a treat in hand yeah gosh <laughs> um so she's like really you know, marches to the beat of her own drum. And just because we've done so much of this training, you know, we like started her when we, f we got her at seven weeks. And, um, you know, from the start, we've like had her in Puppy K, we've had her doing all of the things and, you know, reinforcing it at home, but it's just not like she's has a strong personality, mm -hmm. obviously. So, um, you know, Chris spoke so highly of you guys. Oh. So, and I've been, you know, keeping up with your content online as well and um and loving it you know Yay. So I think my husband and I are just like <laughs> it's like a Hail Mary and you guys work from home right we do was she yeah. kind of impossible yeah it's hard to work so we utilize a lot of daycare for her um during the week because we're just not able and you know she thrives around like playing with other dogs like off you know around the house it's like definitely like she's the toddler we follow her around in every room like you know <laughs> putting like, out just, fires everywhere yeah like we're not able to just kind of let her be in the house and like literally her to you know function properly um she'll like grab a tissue and start eating you know and she likes to it's like more about safety like she she's not like you know ripping up walls or anything but she'll pick up anything and try and eat it yeah um even on walks like we're super vigilant when you know walking her so and there's a lot of geese in our neighborhood so they poop everywhere and it's like uh, to snack on it ew. Um, and that's one of the things that we're like, like, yeah we're just like take it out of her mouth do you let her off leash at all never never she does not know how to come when called um even in the house she doesn't do that so okay it's a very selective listening um so your world is about to get a lot bigger yes and you know if you have a treat in hand and she knows you have a treat in hand she will listen but obviously we can't do that all the time 